Hey, good day, everybody. You may notice something different. <laughs> Similar, but different. I'm in the picker truck, the crane truck, not old blue. Though it is a blue W900, it's a little bit older than mine though. I have a, a load of big poles behind me and I gotta bring them across the city. Doing some local work today, filling in for our regular uh, picker driver. I've got to get all the way over, my friend, all the way over. Thank you very much. Some people get it, most don't. Thank you. This shifter seems so short. It's like way down here, like at my butt level. It's like, I've got to reach way down to shift. I'm so used to my shifter up here. But yeah, I'm doing a favor. Uh, the guy who usually drives this truck is injured. And I'm trained to drive this truck. Uh, I gotta pick those poles off with the crane, right? So I have training on this and I'm one of the few people that uh, is qualified to operate this thing. So here we go. Trucker Josh is filling in. The load guys have done me many favors over the years and uh, when they need a favor from me, if possible, I like to come through for them. I can't every time. They've asked me uh, like two other times to uh, fill in on this truck and both times it didn't work out. But uh, this week it did. So I have two or three trailers to unload today. We have some other local drivers that are coming with one or two other trailers. They're gonna see if they can fit it on one trailer, but it might be two. The poles I got on me are 65 feet long. I have a trombone trailer, tri-axle flatbed, with the baskets for the, for the poles. So it's stretched out about an extra seven feet. Just to accommodate these long suckers. Feels so weird shifting way down here. I can't get used to that. We're just doing this for today. Tomorrow I, I'm back in Old Blue. I'll be doing some local stuff again though, but uh, I think I'll be pulling a roll tight. But I'll be back in my truck, which I'm a lot more comfortable driving my truck. I don't like driving other people's trucks. Though the guy who regularly drives this one has it nice and organized. It's, uh, it's actually very nice. I mean, it's an old truck, but it's organized. It's, it's nice. often on the highway like this guy wasn't too bad but I noticed that when people pass you and they take a really long time on a four-lane highway and there's nobody behind them you know there's no real rush sometimes they'd cut like right in front of your truck like they cut you off even though there's nobody behind them pushing them or pressuring them you guys ever have that happen to you it happens to me all the time I always wonder why people do that but if there's no rush to get out of the left lane, I mean, I'm not gonna judge you for staying in there a little longer to get more distance between us before you turn back in, right? But, meh, it is what it is. Oh, what's going on over here? Someone stopped in the middle of the highway? On the other side there, look at that. That's messing up traffic. Is that a cop? Yeah, that's a cop, isn't it? Why is that guy, why is that cop parked in the middle of the left lane? <laughs> I have so many questions every day while I'm driving around. I see all kinds of stuff. There must be a very good reason. At least it's a cop, right? And he's got the flashing lights and it's not just some random person just, you know, taking a break in the left lane. Away. It's not very far that I gotta take these poles at all. It's like 
20 miles maybe. That car behind me has been following me the entire way. I wonder why. I'm trying to save fuel in my slipstream. Sometimes people will follow like right behind you. They're trying to save fuel so that you'll break the wind for them. What I end up doing then is just keep slowing down, slowing down, slowing down until they just get too frustrated and go around me. Oh, now he's passing me. Okay. All just in my head. Just being paranoid. People following me. Oh, fancy blinker. Right, right, right. I'm turning right. At least he used his blinker. I am turning left up ahead here. I gotta get in this lane. There we go. Oh. Construction, construction everywhere. Always making things better. At least that's what we're telling ourselves, right? This is Deacon's Corner. Anyone who's come through Winnipeg knows Deacon's Corner. Very popular stop for uh, travelers. It's on the east side of Winnipeg, so anyone coming from Ontario, this is the first big stop. They got the Petro Pass for fuel. They got uh, Tim Hortons right here for caffeine. There's a new Esso gas station here too. I don't know how much business they're getting because Petro Canada kind of dominates this corner. But I guess they're getting enough to stay in business. I find it so funny that the gas station there sells coffee and they're right beside Tim Hortons. I bet they don't sell one cup a day. Oh yeah, they got a subway here too. I could have stopped here for subway. Huh. I got subway in Ile Shane this morning. Got myself a little bit of a lunch going because I'm going to be uh, out here for the, the whole day. Like I said, I got to unload two trailers. I'm just bringing one here. There's another guy bringing another one and it might be three. But they're going to try to do it in two. We'll see what happens. Might have to unload three trailers today. So I've got myself some food while I'm here. Excuse you. There's the truck stop. Well, we had a little bit of an issue with the crane today. There's a leak, and I think there's more than one. This whole area down here soaked. There is there while I was unloading those poles. Uh, suddenly, uh, I lost power or lost hydraulic power, and uh, hydraulic fl fluid started. Not spraying out, but coming out pretty steady. And so I was able to get this thing folded back up, thankfully, but they're gonna have to pull it apart and figure out where the leaks are. Not only is this all soaked down here, it's also on the other side. I mean, if my truck's called Old Blue, I guess this would be what? Old, old blue? Older blue? Senior blue? Came all the way down here. It was pulling up on here. Those hoses there. Oh, you can still see it's still dripping. A big leak in those hoses there. So I don't know what happened, but of course it had to happen when I was using it, right? It wasn't leaking this morning. I checked everything, and when I started, it wasn't leaking. 
So we have it at the repair shop here now. And I'm uh, getting a ride back to the yard. I hate it when stuff like this happens when I'm using it. It sort of messed up my whole day. But, I mean, the load still got delivered, thankfully. Uh, we were able to get them offloaded there. Someone else came to unload them. And we got this truck to the facility where it can get repaired. And thankfully I had enough like, hydraulic pressure in there that I could still fold it back up. Because if I hadn't have folded it up when I did, I might have had to leave it right there and like they might have had to have technicians come fix it on site there or get it like, folded up and yeah it would have been fixed on site that would have been way more expensive so i got it folded up we got it back here huh. you yeah. know it's not my truck but uh i still care about it because uh, it's the trucks that we have to use part of our team you know yeah. we're gonna go back to my truck now I'm gonna hook up to a roll tight. So now I gotta wait here for my ride that'll take me back to my truck in our yard. See, I'll be grabbing a roll tight and going to go load it in the morning west of Winnipeg in Headingley. And then I have four deliveries around southern Manitoba with it tomorrow. So it's another local day tomorrow. But uh, I'll be in my truck. It'll be a lot more comfortable. I don't like driving other trucks. Bad things happen when I drive other trucks, apparently. That's a funny looking truck. Just me? Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Feels good to be back. I'm so sorry. It's not like that. It's not like that. I would never. I would never. You're still my only kid. You're still my only one. I missed you. I missed you. I was not with another Kenworth. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. I was just doing someone a favor. That doesn't sound any better. Forgive me. So I got this roll tight behind me. I'm in Headingley, Manitoba. I'm ready to get loaded tomorrow morning. It's a triaxle flat. be loading up some steel and just running around Manitoba a little bit. I have to compliment Headingly Flying J. Like this truck stop is clean. Like look at this. You guys see any garbage anywhere? I don't. I mean there's a little bit in the grass here. Okay. Okay. But compared to some truck stops, this one's doing pretty good. Compliments to the Flying J in Headingly Manitoba. So yes, this is my roll tight for tomorrow. I just got here a little while ago. I went inside, had a shower already, had a haircut. And uh, pretty much just putting this together and going to bed. Hopefully tomorrow will go well. It was too bad about, uh, what are we gonna call them? Like senior blue? The picker truck. But uh, what can you do, right? Things happen. I just hate when they happen to me. Look at this guy. Look how crooked he is. Look at this guy. I'm not talking about the guy with the green roll tight here. I'm talking about this other guy. 
Look at him. Who parks that crooked and just leaves it like that? Right? I'm just picky. I'm just picky. He's in the lines. He's he's within his lines. Barely. But we'll forgive him. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Short little video. Not much happened, but... Oh boy, this guy's... Uh... Back tarp here is going to rip open if he doesn't fix that. Those are supposed to be like mine here, like pinned in here. Huh? It's not my problem. I've had enough problems today. I'm done with problems. I'm going into the truck, putting this together, watching some YouTube for a while. Maybe I'll watch some Netflix. And then I'm going to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate it. Hit that like button. Go below the video. Make sure you're subscribed to me on YouTube. If you aren't, please make sure you are. It helps me out a whole lot. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in my videos upcoming. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.